Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and a couple of the January 2022 LEGO Star Wars sets have been revealed. The first one is the Hoth ATST with 586 pieces, retailing for $50 in the United States. It has a new Chewbacca with snow on him. That looks really cool. There's a Hoth Rebel, Rebel Trooper and an ATST pilot. This is the Hoth version of the ATST, which is actually different than the Endor model seen in Episode 6. I'm really happy that LEGO decided to try out something new here. There is, of course, the twisting head feature and a couple of spring-loaded shooters, as well as a probe droid. I think $50 will be a fair price for this, but the Snow Trooper Battle Pack... For $20 does not feel like a respectable price. The set has 105 pieces and should retail for $20 in the United States. I think they really like to see how far they can get. And I often think that LEGO believes that they can continue raising the prices forever as time goes on. When really, there's just a limit with some things. I remember when they released that Darth Maul style advent calendar with Darth Maul on the front. They raised it to $50 just to see how far they could go with an advent calendar. The fans did not take it that well as they shouldn't because that's a ridiculous price. And the price went back down to 40 Honestly, I hope the same thing happens here because no way does anyone want to pay $20 for a paddle back. They're supposed to be easily accessible and cheap for kids and adults alike to build their armies. This does have three snow troopers, and they have done away with the stud shooters. There's also a scout trooper, but it's a hot scout trooper. So, at least they're paying attention to the little differences. About 10 years ago, they wouldn't have cared about the difference, and they probably just would have inserted them anyway. But do keep in mind, then, the at, -AT and the snow speeder from 2019... The minifigures were X-Wing pilots instead of Snow Spear pilots, but whatever, it looks like they're starting to really care more about accuracy, even for the little things such as what planet is the ATST on and what type of scout trooper should we put here. But there is a little snow embankment, a e web cannon with a new shooter that was first seen in the Batman sets, although it is a different piece without a pole, rather. It has anti-studs on the bottom to attach to a stud surface, and there is a speeder. I like this one a lot, but I don't think that is worth $20. It's probably that price because they want to see how far they can go, and because they did release an $800 at, -AT and they probably think people won't care about the price. They spent $800 on a giant tank on legs anyway. Important thing to mention is the new box art. It has a dark blue stripe on black. I think it's unique and creative. It looks really good. And I'm wondering if they will change the Darth Vader out for different characters depending on what point in Star Wars the set is based in. If there is a Clone Wars set, I want to see the 332nd Trooper there. But I think it looks really good has a little blue hue to it down at the bottom and it might look better than the one that we've had since 2019 but anyway guys i want to know what you think of these sets which one's your favorite my favorite stay tst it is 50 dollars, but i feel it's more worth it plus it is a creative take on the atst being from hoth rather than endor the new probe droid is looking pretty good as well as the minifigures I like the ones in the Snow Trooper Bell Pack, but I think that set's overpriced. But be sure to tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and get the bell notifications on. And remember to keep on succeeding. I believe in you. I really do. You're doing great out there. I'm behind you all the way. Keep working hard. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.